Hi there, my name is Rebecca Del Grosso. I'm a trainee solicitor at EHL Solicitors. And today I'm just going to go through my five top tips for choosing the right law firm for you and making applications. So the first thing that I would always consider is what kind of services does it offer? Um, some law firms are very specialised and kind of only really dealing, say, corporate or commercial um, areas of law. Other firms, such as EHR, are a lot more diverse and offer a wide range of legal services. So have a think about what you want to do in the future. I particularly chose um, EHR because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do yet, and obviously with such a wide range of legal services available, I've been able to have a go at a few different areas of law, which has been really good. Um, another thing to consider is the size of the firm and the location. Some law firms are very small, um, particularly regionally based uh, firms. Other law firms are UK wide, others even worldwide. So it's always worth considering where you would be based as a paralegal or as a trainee and whether you'd have to be expected to travel and whether that fits in with your lifestyle. third thing to consider, um, I would say, is really narrow down your choices when you're thinking of applying for law firms. And that's because you've got a much better chance of getting, making a good application if you've only chose a few law firms that you're interested in, rather than just doing lots of applications and them not being as good quality, not spending as much time doing them. So pick a few firms, research them really well, pick a few firms that you're really, really interested in make a really good application or a really good covering letter that's very specific to that firm and you'll have a much better chance of succeeding. Another thing that was quite important for me when choosing the right firm is the social life um, based around that firm and its community involvement. Um, I was really keen to make sure um, I had a really good work-life balance and that's really important, especially when you're starting out as a trainee. Um, and I was really impressed by all the, um, the social committee and the events that EHL put on. So if you are um, keen to get involved in the social life, um, get involved with charity and community, community events, research the firm, see what they do, have a look in local papers and um, see if that's some case that you feel like you'd fit in well in. And finally, my final tip is um, have a look at the quality of the training available. Um, the best way to do this really is to try and get some, um, maybe some work experience with the firm or go to events where you can meet some of the trainee solicitors from that firm and just ask them what kind of work they do. Because ideally you want to be, um, you want to be given responsibility, you want to be um, doing things on your own, but at the same time you need to be well, um, well supervised to make sure that um, your, your training goes well. So that's definitely something to, um, to look at. And finally, um, have a look at what um, paralegal roles are available compared to the number of training contract places. EHL particularly are, are very good at um, recruiting paralegals and um, taking them on to trainee level, um, if appropriate. And but some of the firms might take on a lot of paralegals but not have that many training contract spaces. So have a look on the website, see what the retention rate's like and take that into consideration when applying for firms. So if you are interested in um, applying to EHL, we're taking on um, a lot of paralegals. So if you're keen to get involved, you can go onto the website and there is details of how to apply for a paralegal vacancy. And all I would say is wherever you go, wherever you apply for, just make sure you, um, you work hard, get involved with the firm and... Um, enjoy your time there. Make sure it's a firm that you like and that you're going to enjoy the start of your career at. Thank you.